Welcome to AYTM, where we make advanced market research easy. Our mission is to take the stress out of your research and give you a terrific experience. In this video, I'll give you an overview of how to leverage the AYTM platform in do-it-yourself mode. There are no barriers to start. You can price out your survey even before creating an account. And remember, even if you're doing research yourself, we're still always happy to answer any questions you may have. So feel free to reach out to us at any time via phone, email, or chat. Start by deciding whether you want to survey your own list, which we call a list survey, or a global panel of 25 million respondents, which we call a panel survey. If you have a sizable community of your own, such as a list of customers, employees, members of your organization, or social media followers, use our list surveys by switching to your own list mode. You can use our list of demographic questions for filtering the data you collect, plus we offer plenty of other settings so you can more easily control how you collect your answers. Our demographic questions for both list surveys and panel surveys include age, income, relationship status, location, parental status, relationship status, career, employment status, education, and ethnicity or race. If you plan to use our panel, switch to panel survey to get answers from your precise target audience. You can choose from a variety of countries in six languages, or even from our worldwide panel of English-speaking internet users. You can easily check the feasibility and price of your study with the sample complexity meter in the upper left corner. It'll give you real-time feedback based on how targeted you want your respondents to be. As you change your sample requirements on this page, you'll notice that the price and delivery time are adjusted as well. Delivery time is guaranteed by AYTM in most cases, assuming you send your surveys within the indicated time frame. While you can create a longer survey on the next page, the cost shown here includes up to 10 standard questions and the 10 demographic traits that we include with every survey complete that you order from our panels, so you don't have to ask demographic questions separately and take up precious space in your survey. Be sure to set your number of completes to determine how many people will take your survey. You can choose as few as 50 or as many as 5,000. Anything under 400 is considered directional, which means it's not as statistically reliable as a sample size of 400 or more. By default, we show the price of a survey completed by 400 respondents. A sample size of at least 1,000 will greatly reduce your margin of error, and it also happens to be the lowest sample size most major publications will accept if you want to publicize your research. Choose 3,000 to 5,000 if you plan to analyze subgroups of your data, and be sure to have at least 400 completes in each subgroup. Sometimes you'll want to provide a screener or pre-qualification question at the beginning of your survey to only let in those respondents who are relevant to your study so you don't have to pay for respondents who don't qualify. When you click on the plus sign here to add a pre-qualification question, you'll be able to select from among our 2,000 plus house tags. We expand and update our house tag library every day, and it covers a wide range of traits from health and media use to hobbies, purchasing habits, and brand awareness. To browse or print the entire library by categories, click the Browse All icon at the bottom of the box. Next to the house tags menu is the add custom option in case you don't see the house tag you're looking for. If you select this, you can add your own unique pre-qualification question on the survey editor page later. Several of our demographic targeting options such as age, income, relationship status, and location can be balanced by US Census. You can balance by up to two nested quotas by simply toggling the scale icons. If you'd like to focus on a specific part of the US, you can choose among regions, states, counties, metro areas, and zip codes. Now the fun part, writing your survey. By default, you'll get three single choice placeholder questions. This is the minimum number of questions required to launch a survey on AYTM, but they don't all have to be single choice. In fact, you can quickly change the type of any question by clicking on its icon in the upper left corner of the question. You can easily reorder your questions by using the gray handles on each question. Simply drag and drop each question where you'd like it to go. If you'd like to clone a question, simply hold the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC as you drag your question until you see the plus icon in a black pop-up, and don't release the key until you've moved your cloned question into your chosen spot. Please note that all your text, images, and other settings associated with the question will be cloned as well. You can add additional answer choices simply by clicking the plus button below them. The text will give you a clear idea of how many more answer choices you can add. We always recommend keeping a survey as short as possible, so think about the limits that you see here as a guideline for creating the best survey-taking experience on the web and mobile devices alike. 
That said, we have a few subscription options that raise the limits for professional researchers. Please reach out to us if you need more. If you already have a list of pre-written answer choices in a document, copy and paste it into the first answer field, and the rest of the list will automatically populate your answer fields, saving a lot of time. Now let's take a look at the sidebar. It's a handy set of controls and survey information that will follow you as your survey gets longer. That way, you'll always know the cost of your survey, which may change as you add more time-consuming questions. It also gives you quick access to all question types and research tests, as well as your global survey controls. We recommend saving your survey often. You can do that by clicking the disk icon in the sidebar, the large Save button on the bottom of the page, or simply by pressing Command-S on a Mac or Control-S on a PC. After a quick refresh, you'll see the confirmation pop up. You can click on the icon that represents a question type you want to add. This will add a new question in the center of your screen, and you can drag it up or down to your chosen position. You can also drag the question type icon itself from the sidebar and paste it in the exact spot where you need it. Alternatively, you can scroll down to the end of the survey and click here to add a new question. Please note that beyond 10 included simple questions, each question has a different cost associated with it. We value respondents' time and have to pay them appropriately for the time it'll take them to answer your survey thoughtfully. If you'd like to learn more about a specific question type, we encourage you to watch the corresponding tutorial. Many are available here as you roll over question types in the dialog box. If you prefer to read about question types and see examples of how they'll look in your editor or actual survey, and what to expect on the stats page when your data are collected, please see our Question Types section on our website. We always recommend previewing your survey several times before you launch. Just click Preview in the sidebar. You can see the survey the way respondents will see it, or switch to researcher mode to ignore skip logic and jump to any questions you'd like. If you want your answer choices or sub-questions to be presented in random order to respondents, you can enable global survey randomization. Once it's switched on, you'll see gray anchor icons next to each field on the right, allowing you to anchor or lock the position of any item that you want excluded from randomization. This is very useful for keeping answers like none of the above or other please specify as the last answer option in a list. This also works well for scale types of answers like strongly disagree to strongly agree that need to remain in a particular order. When including the answer option other please specify, please note the little talking cloud icon in the right side of the answer field. By clicking on it, you enable an optional answer field that respondents may use to fill in their own answer. Skip logic is another feature easily available in the editor. It allows you to ask relevant questions based on earlier answers and set up AB or monadic studies, exposing respondents to only one of several things you're testing, such as product shots, prices, or video commercials. Just click on the little bunny rabbits and set it up in minutes. We offer direct skip logic and random skip logic with organic or even distribution. Watch the separate video here to learn more. Researchers often like to illustrate their questions and answers to make a question clearer as well as more fun to read, or make the illustrations the object of their research, like if they're testing new logos or ads. Either way, you can upload and attach an image to most questions and answers and make it appear as a thumbnail or prominently featured. If you want to adjust your targeting, save your survey and then click the Edit Target Market button on the top of the sidebar. It's always a good idea to have someone take a look at your survey before you launch it, and it's often a requirement to get your survey approved by a client or internal decision maker. Use the share icon here to send a survey draft via email, or simply copy the preview link and text it to the reviewer. We recommend sending a survey draft to yourself first, and then forwarding it from your mailbox. That way, it's sent from your address, which ensures that you'll get their reply. You can easily print out your draft by clicking the print icon. For a greener option, you can also print a PDF. When you're happy with your draft and ready to launch, click Launch Survey. We'll instantly provide you with an automatic error check to make sure there are no empty fields or conflicts in your skip logic. If there is a problem, you'll see it reported on the bottom and highlighted with color in the survey. After a quick fix, you'll be ready to launch your survey, sit back, and start seeing your results streaming in. Once launched, you'll find your survey in the In Progress section of your dashboard. Click the stats icon to monitor its progress and start looking at the data as we collect the responses for you. Now let's take a look at the stats page. As you can see, all questions and answers are presented in the main column on the right. On the left, I have a sidebar that contains the main controls. As with the rest of the site, the sidebar will follow you as you scroll through the survey. 
The main column header gives you a quick glance at the number of respondents collected and ordered, and the timestamp of the survey. This talking cloud icon opens a separate page with all open-ended answers collected in the survey, allowing you to review and reject respondents and see their verbatims in the context of their traits and other comments. To the right is the main gateway to AYTM's Beyond Survey Technology Personality Radar. Personality Radar is great for building customer personas. It helps you identify traits of your target audience as they relate to the answers respondents gave to your survey. These traits are drawn from our proprietary, ever-growing database. Simply click the button to experience it for yourself, and click the video tutorial icon here to watch the video. The last button in the header allows you to refresh the stats page while your survey is in progress in order to see the latest results. A couple of words about charts. You can roll over sections of pie charts and columns, hide certain answers by clicking on the legend above histograms, and click here to download the chart as an image. Different formats are available, including PDF and SVG. Under most charts, you'll see the data grid by default, presented in the same order of your survey questions. You can click the Responses header here to sort answers by popularity, or reset to default by clicking on the Answers header. If an answer had an Other Please Specify Answer field, you will see a talking cloud icon next to it in the grid. This is a shortcut to the verbatim page, filtered down to answers for the particular question you've selected. Open-ended answers, as well as combo box and cascade answers, are presented as an interactive word cloud, which has its own demo video. Let's now look at the sidebar and the robust tools it offers. The default tab allows you to switch the view mode and choose one of the five chart types, a map view, or the no charts option. Switch to the map view to see the geographical distribution of answers. The target icon will open the top tab with general survey information, such as targeting, order, and completion timestamps, and a link to the preview, in case you want to check how your survey was presented to survey takers. List surveys will have additional information such as average, median, minimum, and maximum survey completion time, drop-offs, etc. The third icon from the top is another powerful way to take advantage of the included traits. Each trait here becomes a filter. All you have to do is select your filter option and click Apply. The next tab down is Filter by Answers. Same as before, click the Apply Filter button and study the answers from the subset of respondents. If you need trickier filtering conditions, such as an OR operator, please contact us and we'll show you how to set it up. The tab with the microscope icon gives you access to crosstabs and significance testing that our platform can produce for you instantly as an alternative to running complex tests in SPSS or hiring a statistician. Depending on your subscription plan, you might have to unlock the feature for an extra nominal cost or have it included among other perks in your account. I'll cover these reports in separate demos. The rainbow icon gives you a quick choice of chart colors. Next, we have the Share tab. Here you can create different shared views, capturing everything that you see in front of you. The view modes, colors, applied filters, even the stats of opened and collapsed answer tabs. When you create a shared view, you can rename it to manage different views more easily, email it to your clients, colleagues, or yourself, or simply copy the secure link below. Each link contains a secure key and will grant access to this page for anyone with whom you share it, even if they don't have an AYTM account. If you shared something by mistake and want to revoke the access, simply delete the share view and the link you sent out will redirect to our login page the next time someone uses it. The data we help you collect is yours. You can download it in the next tab in different formats and use it outside of our platform according to your needs. You may choose either summary or raw data view. In the Summary view, you'll have access to CSV, Excel, and PowerPoint reports. PowerPoints will keep all your charts looking as similar as possible to what you see on this page. It'll also keep them live, not as screenshots, meaning you can edit the numbers and appearance of any chart. White label account subscriptions are available as well to produce reports automatically branded as your company. The Raw Data mode gives you access to your full dataset in CSV and Excel, with each respondent listed on their own line along with all their answers and demographic information. Excel with Coded Map is a specially formatted data file for researchers who are planning to import it into SPSS or other statistical software. The last tab in the sidebar gives you access to our printer-friendly version of the stats page. Let's take a look at the open-ended answers page. For a full week after survey completion, you can reject up to 5% of all respondents if they gave inappropriate answers. The platform will put your survey back in field and substitute completes with fresh responses. Usually 5% is much more than you'll need, but please do let us know if you need to replace even more. And there you are, a full research cycle available on one site. 
If you still feel unsure about creating a survey on your own, we're just a phone call, email, or chat request away from providing as much or as little research assistance as you need.